I'm Adam Niffin. And I'm Jeremy Cocaine. This is Smith Welding Restoration. Have an ad in that? <laughs> well, it's, it's where we work. That's what we do. We make things pretty. We're showing stuff around the shop. Let's check this out. I gotta show you what we did over here. Um, our paint work has gone to shit since we moved here. Even though we've got an isolated area, everything else, every issue known to man, we've had. We ran this off of our main. I actually have it comes and it elbows down and comes across, two elbows there, which causes turbulence in the line. That's fine, but it, it, it was blowing this off. When I disconnected it straight in, it was blowing this off. So we got a filter, and it's a cheaper filter, but it, it catches what we need. And a regulator right here. So we regulate everything for the paint booth right here, not at the end of the gun. Here's some um, 52 Chevy panel truck fenders. And that is that. Um, I'm gonna sit down, drink the last of my tea, figure out how long I'm gonna stay here. All right. You see Scarlet behind me. It's been, this is more shop bullshit than anything. Um, I'll cut this segment up. You guys are getting two parts. Um, we're behind. We've got projects set, set outside. I've got good people spending good money and we're behind. Um, here's the fucking trap, okay? We didn't want to move here when we did. I wanted to move shops, I really did. But we did not want to move here when we did because of the financial obligations involved. Uh, it was time to fish or cut bait. So we moved the shop and attempted to um, Make an upgrade move well beyond our means capabilities. Uh, that being that, um, our work got a little bit shoddy. Timelines didn't improve any. We just acquired more shit we were behind on. Moving here tapped us, and it continues to tap us every week. It's it better. It's getting better. It's gotten better, and it will continue to improve. Here's that double-edged sword. Your small business guy ends up off times robbing Peter to pay Paul. Hoping to God. You can get squared up before Peter comes to find out. Best intentions, illest of intentions, it doesn't matter. It, it happens. It happens quite frequent, sadly. Um, now, with that, uh, you know, you end up in quite the quandary often. So I spent the last month just grinding on things that are behind. And sometimes bad luck gets in your way. Sometimes poor preparation gets in your way. Sometimes trying to rush gets in your way. We had all three of those things happen. 
at the end of the year. We're on a better leg, we're moving forward, things are looking better. And we we'll continue to improve. The framers across the way were throwing out a bunch of material, a bunch of plywood. It was plywood and OSB, it was junk to them. It's golden to me. In fact, I got four or five more pieces I gotta go over and get. I got enough, I think, that I can lay them down sideways, the cutoffs down sideways, and sheet down this wall. And most likely what I'll do is just scab in a board behind them. And when I stub the wall, I'll intentionally miss those scabs and go along from there. But if I can get sheeting up, down low, then I can build with, I think I've got enough sheeting, I scab it in down low, and then I can build a bench all the way across. Um, I got some two by sixes, what I'll do is I'll rip them in half. This is what you do. Um, scrounging, making do, it's like my hole saw issue, I've got those pieces I need to cut with the hole saw for a tube notcher basically, <sighs> pain in my ass, so I'm going to get my ass in gear, get that thing working, no matter what I got to do, go from there. I want to swing in, give you an update. Oh yeah, this. We gotta scrub this down. I'm gonna block those quarters out. Uh, some minor detail work, a little more trim to take off. Um, stuff that could happen inside of a day. And we're putting the tub and slicks in. Yeah, the door, the passenger side door, needs to be filed down and the bodywork finalized. Put it in, slicks in. And then all we've got is parts and pieces. Uh, which means for us is a, a really late project already. It's moving forward. One. Two. The owner gets to see progress. They get to be a little more happy, less apprehensive or irritated with us. And three. <laughs> uh, that's actually a pay point on the project. Lots of adventures, good times, bad times. I just remember kids, initially, the hard road seems easy, and the easy road seems hard. Keep on pushing, keep your chin up, and forward. That's all that can be asked of us. Okay, this is the side, outside wall to the booth area. Um, we're scroungers, come on. The neighbors across the way, the framers are throwing away a bunch of sheeting. I said, hey, are you gonna, is that garbage over there? And it was like this piece, and it was a little bit wider, and a small piece. And he's like, yeah, do you want more? I said, all I can get. <laughs> so we dragged it all over here. They set it outside, we dragged it all over here. I sheeted about waist high all the way down. we rope. So we didn't have all the studs, whatever, we don't give a shit. We scabbed in on the joints. Now with this here, it's sturdy as any wall. Built the benches. If you remember, this whole corridor was just a hot fucking mess. This whole corridor was just a hot fucking mess. Now I can walk around and do work right now on the money and not have to stumble over my own shit. Uh, you know, I mean, we got, uh, we don't even have a use for that toolbox yet. It's just a little tradesman or something cheap. Blasting, oxy, a stool, speakers. I get a little setup and speaker wire around. Uh, that's my carb dip there. <coughs> Pipe vise. Sandblast cabinet. We're actually going to shuffle some shit around. Because we're going to bring that shelf and actually set it on top of what we got going on in this corner 
So it's going to go up into the sky for putting car parts on. I've been sorting through that shelf and getting stuff off of it out of, quote, storage. Basically shit jumbled up in boxes and left for dead. Split those up again, like at the old shop. Got those sitting side by side. I got my carbs actually up underneath there, my carburetors. I'll put some shelves up here eventually, but I freed up some toolbox space in the mud trolley with all the grinding and cutting accessories, just hung them. Uh, I welded the wheel back onto this cart here because if I don't know if you recall, but we knocked a wheel off. But I just tacked them. Got some cabinets hung up. And I actually put shelves. I'll put shelves in between here. So that's what we got going on in my side of the shop. Jeremy's got his area over there pretty squared away. He basically got all of the stuff that was prefab, pre-built, pre-made, rolled it into place, built a couple benches. That's as good as it can get over there. <clears throat> because we have to move cars around. Um, and we don't want a lot of stuff over there. That's where we're prepping to go in to paint and come out of paint. So we gotta be guarded on what we put over there. I didn't leave anywhere to put my welders yet, but as we stack and store stuff, the spread out mess will become more condensed. Shit will find drawers, shit will get hung up on walls. Um, but that's how I'm setting up my shop here. Hope a little grandiose tour helps out. You know, we've got a big stack of sheeting over there from what was left of scraps. We keep that shit around. Now if you're a carpenter, you're gonna scrounge every scrap of metal for your garage hobbies you can get. Well, we fabricate metal, so I probably throw away scraps that most people would keep. Same holds true to a, to a carpenter. You're gonna throw away wood that you don't necessarily need because it's a regular commodity. It's all in perspective. Um, you know, we'll do a full tour one day, but for now, there you are, folks. Call.